And we are live, I think. Let's see. Yes, we are. <coughs> so, welcome to another Red Dead Redemption 2 live stream. It looks like we're starting off here in Saint Denis. Yeah. And as you've seen the uh, name of the uh, video or live stream, we are going to do this professor mission now. <coughs> Uh, last live stream, we talked with someone. I think it's the professor one of the steel carrot. But yeah. Thank you. So, yeah. <coughs> I missed the game, but, well. Then I have to prioritize schoolwork. But here we are. Yeah. <clears throat> there, girl. Good girl. <laughs> Good girl. I did some hunting of camera, but not that much. Of course, I had a little time to there, not enough to yes, do a live stream, but well, some time spare. that on us and then I want a carbon repeater we upgraded that in the last stream and I want that ready get, girl. get out of here There it is. I changed my mind. I want to be on the horse. Hey there, girl. Boom. Boom. Good girl. That's my girl. <clears throat> this way. Easy. Good girl. No girls. Boys and girls. Horses. So we're going this way with all that shine. <clears throat> you don't have to have that on. Hey partner, one of these days I'll have me a wagon. Find us that one there. Yeah, and we're. Here. Well, I don't want that there. Whoa. I'm sorry, I missed the turn.
to have some food. Oh, we got some bread. And yeah. My horse did not fall. So we're going to go here. Yeah, a bit into sound me. So I got the moon shot. You're a wonderful man. Wonderful! <laughs> you got my money? Uh, it's, it's for a very good cause. Uh, my name is Professor Andrew Bell the Third. Perhaps you've heard of me. Yes, <laughs> no. Oh, I'm an inventor. Uh, maybe you've read about me. <laughs> uh, I don't read much. Oh, oh, well, that's too bad. Oh, yes. <laughs> you got my money? <clears throat> oh, well, it, it is the most wonderful invention, friend. Oh, you, sir, have done a great All deed. All I've done is get some creep a lot of drink. <laughs> creep is excellent. No, nonsense. Now, you've helped me develop the most humane machine imaginable. A way to induce calmness to our most troubled souls. A way to end the barbarity of a public hanging. Oh, so, you so, say so? What are you talking about? The electric chair. What? See, it's a chair full of electricity. Quite fascinating. It calmly and peacefully dispatches the sinners uh, to face judgment. Yes, judgment. Where is it? Well, uh, it's in my laboratory. The next thing I need is a, a demonstration. A public one. Not on me. Uh, do you know the police chief? Hmm? As well as anyone. Oh, wonderful. Perhaps you can encourage him to let me demonstrate the chair. It will help bring this town into the next century. <clears throat> Could you do that? Hmm? Maybe. Mission complete. Well, I just need to... My gaming chair just lost its neck. Pillow or cushion. And I'm trying to put it back. Like that. So, we stole that wagon. <clears throat> My girl. Let's see. Here we got the Henry Lemur. And we got another professor mission. Well, what do we have to lose? Electric chair. Well, you must have heard of it. Please let me pass you. <clears throat> Come on. Why you getting out of the way there? Yes, um I'm getting out of the way. Sorry, but I really want the lantern. I want to see. It's pretty dark now. Let's hit the horse. I want that. Mister, je vous salue. <clears throat> Let's talk. So, welcome to our humble police house. I 
I can't possibly help you if you don't tell me what I'm you need. I'm representing the inventor of a humane execution machine, an electric chair, and he, uh, he wants to demonstrate his invention here. Ah, I'm familiar with the man and his work. Tell you what, I'll give you a permit, but it's going to cost you $100 in fees. A hundred dollars. Hey, look, this will save you money in the long run, and uh, it'll save the condemned a whole lot of pain. That remains to be seen, but I'll give you a permit for fifty. Yes. Okay. Well, the price is fair. Here you go. And here, sir, is your permit. A pen in the usual formalities, of course, such as uh, <laughs> a suitable candidate for humane dispatcher. I'll tell that to the professor. Good luck. Thank you. So we are helping the inventor of an electric chair. Good. <clears throat> Let's help him on. Hello, sir. Hello. Okay, I want the wine point. Where is he? He's over there. better pay me a fifty dollars no ah, hello friend hello professor, hello professor Andrew Bell the third that's it so the chief says you can test out your machine ah. pending the usual formalities and what are they uh, finding a suitable uh, subject ah Funny you should mention. And this fella here, he seems sturdy enough and he's guilty as sin. Wilson J. McDaniels. Wanted for murder, bigamy, and immoral animal husbandry. What's that? The mind shudders. Here, find him for me and help me put him out of his misery. Sure. Of course I can do that. But the question remains, should I do that? Or should I just test the machine on you? This is all coming together wonderfully. Hey boy. What a dog. Covered in blood. He's a lucky man, this Mr. McDaniels. He'll have a place in the history books. If you say so. <clears throat> well, we got Charles Chatonay over here. He's pretty close.
Do you see this? Can find my other shoes. You know, I could swear. Hmm. Hey, ma'am. Howdy. How old it? Let's hit the horse here. <clears throat> there you are, girl. How is everything? Very well, thank you. I would like to brush you. So you get along okay. You need to be brushed. Excuse me, partner. Sinsan, Zhou San. Well, know what we're going to do. Going to talk to this Charles Shuttaway. Enjoy the show, if that's possible. What's this show then? Mr. Charles Chatternay. Go and see for yourself, but don't blame me. Sure. The exhibition is through there. I just don't like how much time you're spending with the man, is all. Just wait until you see his work. It's very. Progressive. Well, I'm not so very sure how I feel about progression. Paintings or otherwise. Come on. I've seen the like of it before. I promise. Morning, dude. Maybe that's a good thing. Hold, hold on. Let me compose myself. Hmm. Guess what's weird dude that's going that's having his exhibition. I weird dude with met in the that it's Greek. saloon, I think it was. Too modern for my taste. Look at these idiots. Excuse me, Mr. Chatternay. Couldn't you have painted some drawers on her? Madame, I paint her in her natural state, as she was and will be in paradise. There's nothing natural about that. Clothes are civilization, repression, death. To be naked is to be free, innocent, alive. Like Buddha said, you know, we are all just here to fuck. <gasps> well, that explains the decadence of those Hottentots. Hey, you got a picture of my wife here. In her delicate. <gasps> Henry, oh. is that your behind? Well, why would you be showing it to that man? That's my mama. <gasps> as nude as the day she was born. Stop looking at my husband's buttocks. Mm -hmm. Stop looking at my mama. Well, maybe yes, she please. shouldn't expose herself like that. This is disgusting. The nerve on you. That's it. <laughs> oh, my Come God. On, this is no place for us. Come here. Hey. I'm a bitch. <clears throat> you filthy little man. Oh. Oh. Come on, horse. We are leaving. Hey, I'm coming after you, Frenchie. Hey. All right. Hello, Charles. This show is well and truly over. Let's get out of here. Come on, I know a place where I can disappear for a few days. Don't drag your feet. So you are painting people, people naked. The exhibition. What can you say? It was not boring. That it was not. Art should test people, push them. I thought I was a god, <coughs> a no talent brush washer. Now I'm not sure. Uh, I'm pretty rich. I got three point two thousand. All your canvases left punch holes through. Yeah, missed much. We stole that carriage. Full of moonshine, which is an alcohol. And gave it to the inventor of the electric chair, and he said he wants me to find some dudes to test it on. We're going to do that later. But this is a weird dude with the uh, exhibition. That picture I gave you, it will be worth something someday. <coughs> I can feel it. Perhaps. Right now seems like the only thing it'd get me is kicking the balls. Oh, you are funny, you know. I hope to see you again sometime. 
My angel! My little bird! It's me! <laughs> so... Question remains. Should we find the dude to test the electric chair on? Should we do that or not? <clears throat> I think it will be fun. Or we can do the Penelope Braveweight mission. Uh, yes, they uh, tested. I think he died well from an electric chair, so we, let's see if we test on him instead. <coughs> electric chair mission, okay. Well. Good day, dear. Good morning to you. I like to move it, move it. Don't you know how to Out of the damn way. So let's find that dude and test the electric chair on him. want to slow down though. <clears throat> well, we should eat something, but I don't think we have any food. Crackers, I guess. Perfect. <clears throat> or fur. Count to that. Girl. Easy there, girl. Bone hunters can't hunt me. <clears throat> they thought they could take me. They were so wrong. So, so wrong they were. We can find the inventory of the electric chair. Or his bounty, I guess.
There's the bun here. Yeah. It's such a beautiful game. Oh my god, I love it. Oh my god. <laughs> it's like I'm just speechless about the graphics in every live stream. Well, let's have it ride. I like this cinematic camera. I really know yet. It's like watching a movie. Check the minimap instead of the road. We must be here soon. We must be. Idiot! Why did you jump down? Don't want to jump down, but I guess we have to. Easy now. Yep. No, <laughs> fucking idiot. Why did you jump down? Why did the horse jump down? Stupid. I pressed the brake button. Where's my horse? It survived. How, I don't know, but it did. <coughs> Okay, girl. Been a while. Yep. There's bounty hunters down there. Load up. Need to get down. Well, you know what we're going to do. There we go. 
I think we can go down here. No, we cannot. We have to somehow get down the mountain. Get down this mountain. So we can get them. Before the bounty hunters do. We have a bound hunter here. Someone saw us. Run! I think I can do that. McDaniels is escaping. <laughs> Escaped on horse. Shit. He's running. Better be. Be a man about this. Come on. I got a special treat for you. Born free. I was born free. God damn you. Now. Of course you are.
You know what? You need to be there. Take me to damn court then. <clears throat> Not going to court, you know. This ain't America. We ain't free no more. Can't raise no animals, take no wives. All I did was graze my I ain't wrong. It's you that's wrong. We was trying to live free. You came along and laid waste. Take me in, just take me to the jailhouse. You know, you ain't going to court. You ain't going to jail either. I'm taking you to a professor I know. What in hell are you talking about? <laughs> man, man. You get to be part of a great experiment. Shut up. Huh? You ain't gonna die needlessly is what I mean. Nope. Your death's gonna be an uh, important step in the advancement of human knowledge. What in hell are you saying, mister? This professor. Andrew Bell III, I believe he said. He's a little odd. Maybe harebrained, but I got no reason <coughs> to doubt the quality of his work. What's this damn professor got to do with anything? Well, he wants to try this new electricity chair on you to kill you. You may. No. Yes. Well, he's gonna strap you into this contraption and run a large electric current through your system. It's got something to do with moonshine. I don't quite know what. I guess that's why he's the investor and I'm the bounty catcher. Well, as I said, I can pass on his assurances that this is a most humane way to go. It'll be just like, well, like switching off a light. They wouldn't let you do this to me. They wouldn't. Oh, they would. And we got a permit and everything. You was in animal husbandry, am I right? Well, you ever seen lightning strike livestock, Mr. McDaniel? I ain't ever seen the actual impact, but I came across the pasture sometime after. The storm had just cleared, and there was smoke in the air, the smell of burning hair. <laughs> must have been a dozen head of cattle lying there, piled up, mangled. Strange scars across their backs, legs, and necks. It's half like they was burned, and half like the skin was ripped off. No! Eyes bleeding. Some of them popped out. No! If I hadn't seen the storm, <laughs> I would have thought some devil caused that mischief. But, no sir. It was lightning. The electricity does something all right. Yes, it I does. Seen trees explode in front of me. I seen desert sand baked into glass. That's what I seen lightning do. But, you know, hey. This electricity professor's got a plan for you. Ah, oh, that must be of an entire. Uh, you missed uh, that uh, we captured Mr. Daniels. I don't know when you get when you went. This is the guy that's going to drive an electric chair. <coughs> we just shot some guys that went out to me for stealing my carriage. I can think we can scare him a bit. No, you haven't missed the electric chair. But we're almost there. Ha <laughs> ha 
<laughs> and uh, well, we have told him what hap is going to happen to him. Well, so he's a bit crying and sad. To meet you. <gasps> no. Here, I got him. Did you really have to poop there? Stay here. Stay there. Uh, put him down just there. Okay. Now where's my money? Um, money? Yeah, for all the running around I've been doing. Uh, oh, well. Once they buy my humane electric ending facilitator, uh, there'll be money enough for you, sir. Well, let's hope. Alright, let's get our, our, um, our poor unfortunate ready for the demonstration. Oh, do come and watch. It'll be amazing. Yeah, I'm going to watch it, right? Let's do the Penelope Braithwaite mission. <clears throat> yeah, we're going to see the electric chair in action. But first, we're going to do a mission for Penelope Braithwaite. You know, the rich uh, lady. A young, rich woman. From one of those, uh, well... Manners. That we uh, was going to rob. And should I be scared that you are saying J for watching the electric chair in action? Hmm. Hey, partner. Okay, I shouldn't be scared. I'm scared. Totally not, okay. Now I'm just more scared. I totally not gonna make one in Minecraft. Okay, if you say so. And test it on you. No, you're not going to test it on me. Not without paying. We're doing that mission instead. Let's go. Let's help that dude.
nothing like you. Oh, just kill me. I'd rather die than look at you in one more step. Sorry I weren't here sooner. <clears throat> How are you? Oh, oh, thank the Lord you showed up when you did. <sighs> you saved my honor. Christ, what a mess. Would you please get them out of here? I can't stand to touch them, and I don't want to ride indoors. Sure. Sure. Oh, thank you again. You my god angel. You're welcome. Appreciate it. Good luck to you. Okay. Penelope brave wait. Easy. We can't go too fast on these bridges. Looks like this stream, we're not going to do any main mission, we're just going to do those white missions, with, which are side quests. Yeah. Might do some stranger mission stuff like that. But it's fine, because they are interesting as well. <laughs> Sometimes in more interesting than the main story. <laughs> It's raining. Yeah, you good girl? Need to get some food. We're going to have that with us, and I want that with us. <clears throat> hey there, mister! Howdy, pardon? Let's find them. Oh, you came! You came! You finally came! I came. Oh, thank you, 
Thank you, you lovely, lovely man. Uh, calm down, miss. Oh, come on, let's go. We ain't got a minute to lose. They killed her. They killed Miss Calhoun. All she wanted was a better lot for women, and they killed her, those pigs. Who killed her? I don't know. My cousins, probably, or, or bows. Well, you met them. They are animals. Not even animals. Monsters. Monsters! If God had lost all his powers of imagination. Can you... Can you please take me to the train station? Bo will be waiting. Bo? Why couldn't he come and rescue you? Well, if they saw me and him together, they'd lynch him and send me off to a nunnery. Or maybe they'd lynch us both, I ain't quite sure. They do so love hanging folk. Where are you heading? Up to Boston. Good. Yeah, I like you up there. Come on. Let's go. Of course. Here. I'm in your hands. Just get me to Rhodes Railway Station. Okay. Let's try to get you a train. And Bo's just waiting at the station in the hope you'll show up or I'll show up to help you show up. He goes to there every day he can. Makes up some excuse or other. I said he would see me there one day soon, and today he will. God willing. Well, well. If he's there, that's true love, all right. Yes, I've it is. hardly seen him since the rally. They watch me so carefully, and he's waited, or so his letters say. Our families won't let us out. And then all that business with Aunt Catherine and my cousins. <sighs> you saw the house. And then... Lee Gray and those boys killed. So much bloodshed. I, you'd think this could be a new beginning, but everyone left alive. They're even more angry. Maybe anger's hmm. a complicated thing to let go of. Something good has to come out of this awful, awful feud. That's what I've been hoping. Bo and I have to be better. Our families were here for years and years. Sometimes I feel like we can't just leave death and, and pain and ruination behind us. Plenty before you have. Plenty will again. There he is. Oh, it's him. Will you ride on the train with us a little, just to the first stop? Fine. If you pay. How do you do, sir? How's your look? I have not been good at all. You came! <laughs> But I love you, Penelope Braithwaite. <sighs> Sir, how can we ever repay your kindness? A lot of money. One of them jewels would do just fine. Bo, Arthur's gonna join us. I think we need the support. Please, could you buy the tickets, dear Mr. Morgan? We, we can't chance being seen. Sure. If you pay me. We'll meet you on the platform. Hey. Hello. Can I have <clears throat> three tickets to San Denis, please, sir? Of course. Uh, oh, hello, sir. Hello, Alden. I hope all is well. Uh, not terribly. But good to see you. Hey. Excuse me, Alden. Get on the train. Get your bags, miss. I got this. Come here, Yankee. With pleasure, you goddamn fool. You want to come back here without giving you a whipping? We should have done this last time. Get on the train. Go to your woman. Four fists and maybe one brain between you. You're going to get hurt, cowboy. Get him, Scott. It was nothing. Come on, Arthur. If that is his real name, I... All right. it doesn't matter. He can fly. Oh. Arthur, come on! Oh, oh, now there's only one of you. Arthur, 
Let me go! No, I haven't done... Uh, finished the story yet. I know, charming to the last. Then again, my uncle used to keep his own half-brother as a slave, so what do you expect, good manners? My uncle used to say things were better the way they were when he could rape and kill with impunity and he didn't have to work a day in his life. Both our families. There's good people in this county, but our families bullied them and drove most of them off, whites as well as blacks, all over this silly feud. Yeah, well, how do life? Oh my lord. <laughs> oh, I think it's my second cousin. What is with it with all these goddamn cousins? I think they found out about the jewels. All right, keep your heads down. And I'll deal with this. Jewels? Ah! They're coming from over the hill. You must have all the jewels in the state. The amount of your cousins is here. What the hell's going on? Say so. Don't you sell me a break wait? Please no spoilers in the shot. I can drive a train! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Can alligator remove uh, spoiling comments, please? Or do I have to do it? Thank you. Thank you, Al. Thank you, Al.
Riggs Station. <clears throat> Why have we stopped? It's best you go on alone from here. Mr. Arthur, I didn't know you could drive a train. Neither did I. <laughs> But, if I'm honest, it was kind of fun. <laughs> and I didn't kill any of us. Well, I killed some of your relatives, but they would have killed all of us. You are a gentleman, sir. <laughs> no, I'm not. No, I ain't. Yes, you are. Here, I ain't got much money, but these sapphires are worth a lot of money. Old family heirloom. That Braithwaite treasure. Thank you. Now, let's get you off to Boston before any more of your relatives show up. That might be wise. Hey, you there? Mm hmm This couple is heading up north to the Boston line. They got money, they'll pay you on arrival. That work for you? Yeah, sounds fine. Get on in. Hey, uh, you carry protection on a journey like this? <laughs> I wouldn't be much of a stage driver if I didn't. It goes everywhere I do. Hey! Oh. Miss Braithwaite is going to hold on to this until arrival. On account of the treasure on your person. I don't know how to thank you. Uh -huh. You're a fine man, sir. Just get out of here. I'll leave. Yeah! <clears throat> Course of true love. Headshot five brave hair complete with seven minutes for the seconds. Well, didn't do that, but. I would like my hat. Well, I would like to. Where are we? We're up here. We're close to Blackwater. I want a ticket. Please. Howdy. If you wouldn't mind coughing in your sleeve, sir, I really can't afford to get sick again this month. Why don't you just do your job? Uh, of course, sir. Sorry. It's just a polite request is all. Why can't I? Well. Thank you for your help. We're here. Nice Captain Monroe, but well. <clears throat> Let's get. Let's get going. Not well. I think that's well, and I now know that you're able to drive a train. Or did I drive a train before? I don't know. But that's fun. Yeah. <clears throat> 
Twisted my ankle something fierce. Think you could give me a ride? Yeah, sure. Hop on. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. Hope it's on the right. You know way. Emerald Ranch? Mind taking me there? Yeah. Sure. sure. Glad I ran into you. Huh. I raised that horse, you know. Raised it since it was just a foal. Oh, uh, losing a horse is hard. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, that horse did right by me. Better than my husband, truth be told. That fool, always complaining. But does he do something about it? No. Man barely lifts his hand to wave the flies away. Aside from to lift a drink, of course. Marriage for me has been nothing but trouble. But Biscuit, he was a fine animal. Loyal, smart. Brave. Didn't take no guff, not from no one. Had one of them mountain boys pull a gun on me once. I was riding up near the Dakota and had stopped by a nice warm patch. Must have dozed off, but I wake up and find some nasty piece of work pointing a rusty shotgun straight at me. Well, he gets wheezing on and I must have made some sort of noise because the next thing I know, Biscuit had nipped his ear clean off. Oh. Kicked his hide too as he was hollering away. Didn't think a man could run so fast. Oh yeah. Yeah, had a good laugh on that one. <laughs> I tell the husband, what does he do? Should have never gone over there, honey. He says. Gee, thanks. You done good. <laughs> <clears throat> so, you live at Emerald Ranch then? For the time being. I was looking for work. They was looking for some help with the gardens. If I waited any longer for my husband to put food on the table, I'd have died of starvation. I'll be moving on soon, though. Emerald Ranch, well, it's a strange place. How so? The owner's a mean bastard. Strange, too. The lights in bullying folk. There's a daughter, but she never leaves the house. You can see her in the window sometimes. When I asked about her, everybody told me to leave it alone. Found an old saloon there, all shut down now. But I went in to have a look, and there's bullet holes, old blood stains. Something definitely happened there, but I couldn't figure it. Just an uncomfortable feeling to the place. Oh, we're getting close now. Here we go. This is great. This was kind of you, mister. <coughs> Please, take this as my way of thanking you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. What a lousy day. Mm. I'm going to tell Matt to this guy. To get some money. Got that, and we got to sell all these. That one. So, that one, that one, that one. 
Thank you. Stay safe and quiet. Yep. Okay, girl. <clears throat> We're going to see the electric chair. Hello? Ooh. Thank you. We're going to check out or watch when uh, a professor is going to use the electric chair. On the poor uh, dude. <clears throat> Easy there, girl. Okay, I think. Do we have something to feed you with? That's something at least. Yeah. What do you mean with J electric chair? I think you're just um, scary if you really like the electric chair so much. Remind me to never cross uh, or get into an argument with you. Out of a damn way. Almost at Saint Denis. Hey there, mister. But where did the mission go? Oh no. Well. Let's put on the camp here. Um. Weren't allowed to do that. No spoilers in this place. Alligator, please remove the spoilers. Going to that place because the electric chair do don't. Have his mission open right now. Animal. What is your Do you want to be safe? The Thank you, Al. Let's taste with a horse.
This looks like Nicholas Tesla. You okay, bud? Fantastic. You Americans are nothing but shysters and traitors and slippery tongue bull suckers. I'm inclined to agree. <coughs> Here, help me, please. Back to work with a bloody smile. <laughs> no problem, Marco. You are the great genius, so we shall the hot poker up the ice. Say thank you, Marco. Thank you. Oh, thank you. What are you, some kind of uh, European toy maker? No, I am a fucking genius with poker up the ice, like I say. Toy maker. Hello? Do I look like I should entertain children? No. No, you don't. No, he says. No. I am the savior of the mankind, buddy. Yes, you meet him. Professor Marco Dragic. <laughs> the one the silver tongue American betrayed. And not paid the money to. Yes, he told to shit, man. So, uh, what's this toy about? It is not a toy, big nuts. It is demonstration of my genius. Of my okay. ideas about the source of life. Oh, it's a toy boat. Yes, it is a toy boat that I can power remotely using electricity and waves you cannot see. Good for you. <laughs> waves you cannot see. And still the investors will not come. Just a couple of old ladies and a moron. <laughs> ladies, please. <laughs> ladies! <laughs> Gentlemen! <laughs> Enchanté. <laughs> yes, my hello. Hello, sir. <laughs> okay. Uh, how is the piles? Yeah? Good, good, good. Okay. Uh, my friends, you are about to witness history. A demonstration of my infinite insight. All of us, we feel old. You, you are old. Oh. But maybe I can make you immortal. <laughs> Using waves you cannot see. I will power this boat. You're a goddamn fraud. And this buffoon dressed up like a buffoon is a stoolie. I watch them conspire, you morons. What? I never met this buffoon before two minutes ago. Isn't that right? Which part of it? So, Professor, show us your magical toy boat. Only this time let the buffoon control it. Check if there's any funny business. No, this ain't nothing to do with me. Come, please, please. Uh, it is easy. Any moron could do it. And I am about to prove that. Here, take this, and this, and... Uh, don't touch that. Oh, okay. Use these ones to steer, and this one to shoot torpedoes, okay? Yes, now, now blow up the little battleships and, and avoid the sea mines. They have magnets attached. Make a nasty explosion if they touch the bottom. Okay! If this silly dimwit can use torpedoes on boat to destroy the battleships, imagine what technology can do in the hands of certified genius! And I have certificate. You see what he does? No wire like telegraph, no pulley system underwater, only waves in the air. This is remarkable. Oh my god. Look at those poor boys on the HL Hunley. Eight of them perished to a mere five on the Lusitana. What a way to go. Trapped in a box at the bottom of the bay. I suppose you intend to make an unmanned killing machine? You misunderstand. This is the secret to life, not death. Transmigration of the soul. I make lifeless metal breathe like man. Well, I'm not sure about that. There, I'm gone for you. Perfect. <laughs> yes, you see what he does? Now bring the boat back to the dock. That sure was something, but I'm not sure what, if anything, was proven here. Let me just reload her. <laughs> this is really remarkable. This is just a, a demonstration of my prowess, sir. <laughs> the real miracles require investment. <laughs> ah. 
Now the dimwit will use invisible waves to destroy the little sailing boats before they get to other side of pond. Still avoiding magnetic mines. No, oh, he'll attempt to at least. Shush! You're not here for this smart talk. The mines! They're magnetized, remember? The steam train. The telegraph machine. The motor car. They will all seem pedestrian in comparison to this technology. We are not reliant on wires or coal or gasoline. No, just rays in the air. Like the voice of God. And funding from us? And funding from you, of course. But what thing to fund? What an opportunity! No one is stupid enough to pass this out. Look who rules the seas. Very good. Very good. Now bring in the boat back here. If you hit another mine, the boat is kaput. Understand? <laughs> it worked. As I say, any fool, huh? Thank you, thank you. What is that? It is the stuff of life, sir. It's incredible. No, no, no. Incredible things are in my lab, back at Dover Hill. <laughs> that will astound all of you. <laughs> Mr. Marcel, can I count on your support? Well, this is expensive. It is immortality, sir. It is, it is very cheap. Perhaps over lunch. Maybe. I'm gonna go. Oh, yeah, of course. And, and thank you. Um, if you're ever up near Dover Hill, pay me a visit. There, I will really amaze you. Sure. Um, <clears throat> I hope you will forgive my... Well, we got ED here, got HS here, we got that dude there, the stranger, let's go to ED. <coughs> no, the electric charge mission isn't available right now it looks like, disappeared. Might come back later. Maybe during the night time. Are you slow? Um. Find a hotel, I guess. Stay in. I know what we're going to do, I think. That's the saloon, we got the trapper there. Another woman demonstrating for a woman right to vote. Lillian. Ah, shut up. 
I'd like to run through the room, please. Yes, it's been one and a half hour. I'm going to keep it under two hours. Yeah, now I can do a Professor Electric Chair mission. I... No, I'm going to keep it to almost... to under two hours. And uh, yeah, we're doing... Let's go and watch that electric chair. You're just too hyped, Al. Oh, it's this place where you saw Cornwall and gets winged. I would say. How to see this? to warn uh, people that this may be rough. It's not humane at all. Playing with his life. Somebody shoot me, please. I want to shoot him. He deserves it. Oh, let's get up. You don't seem overly humane to me. I think it's mighty fine. <clears throat> Someone help. Enough to make you look. 
Inventor. Jag vill att jag just got. Killed. Well, that was <laughs> the execution of an electric chair. <clears throat> what do you mean with J2 dead? You're you're a bad person. You're a bad person, Al. <coughs> yeah, you're happy because of that. You're a bad person, Al. Yes, you're a bad person. Got a legendary bear pelt, but we need the perfect bison pelt as well for it. Should we buy this thing? Or should I save up so we can get this gorgeous coat? I don't sell the stores. You want my wares right here so one place to find them. You choose. You choose. Should we buy weight or should we get the hat? Get the hat. I wish I never had to take my stall into the city. Just like I wish country folk had any damn money. <laughs> I did it. Thank you. Going back up here, renting a room so I can change my hot, warm or hot clothes to have that hat. I just need a quick word, please. The whole saloon's overrun with rats. I'm losing business left and right. I need to get someone to get rid of them for me. I'll pay very well. I just need it done. All right, calm down. Let me see what I can do. Oh, thank God. Just be sure not to around the place too much. Hmm. And the rats here. <clears throat> Who 
Ooh, thanks, mister. Take this. Ooh, you earned every cent. I killed worse. The uh, last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get back there. And I'm going to change the clothes. This is a really fancy place. In primary. Upgraded. Band oiler. We got to upgrade one. Can't see the hat, but sure. Well. Thank you so much for watching this live stream. If you liked it, make sure to press that like button, press that subscribe button, leave a nice comment down below, and I'll see you in the next live stream episode or whatever it is. See you later.